Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is BB and this is BB's Financial Journey. So today we're gonna to be cashed off in $799. Um, I don't have anything else to report. Um, I will have a debt um, review uh, video that cons I will have a debt review video next week um, for you guys. So um, I think that that's it. We're going to go ahead and count this to make sure that this is $799. So that's 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 550, 550, 550, 60, I think I miscounted. Here, let's start over again just to make sure 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 680, 690, 700, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So, seven hundred and ninety-nine dollars this week, and this is a magic month for me. So, I'll be getting um, paid three times in the month of March from my full-time job. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to bring out is Bonnie. Bonnie's my rent. I'm sorry, Bonnie is my bills binder. So rent, as you can see, is empty. So we're going to put in 150 to go towards the rent for April, I guess you could say. Because I pay my rent, I pay my rent to my mom the first of the month. So that's going towards April's. And then we have uh, the water bill. Water bill is going to be getting $25. So now we have 20, 40, 45, 50. Okay, phone is getting $60. So, internet is getting $10. Insurance is going to be getting 30. Now, I know I have some money here but here already. This is already going to be used. I'm just I'm stuffing it this coming week. Um, there is 50, 70, 90, 110, 120 here, and then $30 is going towards uh, April's uh, bill, and this is uh, for March's bill. So I'm going, to, I'm going to leave, no, I'm going to keep them separate, just so I don't get confused. So that's $120 for the month of March and then 30 for the month of April um, for a total of, what is that, 100, let me use my calculator to figure that out, 100 and, 120 plus 30, 150. I could have easily figured that out, but I guess I wasn't thinking straight. That's $10 for subscription. Roth IRA is not getting anything because I'm not contributing um, to other Roth IRA with my uh, full-time job because I do have a 401k for my full-time job. So Bill's Buffer doesn't get um, money towards it. So Bonnie is going to go away. Here comes Ted, the bills, the debt bills binder. 
So debt bills is getting a hundred and uh, seventy. Okay. So I'm gonna have four dollars in here. I still don't know what to do with the excess for um, my bills. I could. I, it's probably going to be rolled into the debt avalanche eventually. 150, 70, 71, 72, 73, and 74 is in here. All right. So now there's 174 and that does. So Ted's going away. And now we have Maddie. Gas is going to be getting $35. The $10 in here of gas, I'm not going to put it towards my debt avalanche because um, I've been putting, for the last couple of weeks, I've been putting an extra $5 in my gas and I'm trying to build uh, a sinking fund for that. So we shall see if I um, get to that. I'm, I think I'm gonna try to build it up to $200, which is putting an extra $5 into my budget there. So 20, 30, 40, and 45. But I reserve the right to change my mind and, and put that towards my debt if I feel the need to. Now groceries has $50 in here. I'm not rolling that into the debt avalanche this time around because it's groceries and I always need a little bit more in groceries. So we are contributing $225 into groceries this time around. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we have 100, 220, 30, 40, 50, 60. <laughs> are you kidding me? 100, 220, 21, 2, 3, 4, and 5. $225. With the 50, it would be $275. Okay. So we're going now into spending. I, I don't know if you've watched the um, cash and stuffing video. If you haven't, please go check it out. Um... I didn't know where this 50 came from. This 20 is from, I got a refund from Amazon and that's what that's from. After rounding up and rounding down a lot of money, I ended up with $20 extra. But this $50, I, I do believe I might have taken more than just a certain amount. I think I took out eight, a hundred dollars out of my play money instead of the eighty-four dollars that was supposed to be totaled. I don't. I might have taken a little bit more than what I needed to to cover everything in my uh, play money. That's the only way. That's the only thing that I can come up with. I looked at all my. Um, budgeting and paperwork and everything like that to see if maybe I missed something but that's the only thing I can come up with I did end up putting it into spending because um Betty's in budgets I don't know if you guys know her if you don't <laughs> you should go check her out Betty's in budgets is coming out with a new uh planner budgeting planner and I totally want it I can't wait I've been you know, stalking her on Instagram to see when she's going to drop it on her shop. Um, I've been wanting a planner and her planner is the one that I want to get. So we shall see. So this is going towards that purchase, but I'm also going to go ahead and contribute another $10. So that's 50, 70 and 80 in spending. The whole time I've been talking, I have not been writing down my balances. So I had 150 in rent, 25, no, 50 in water, 60 in phone, 
internet was 10 insurance was 150 subscription 10 bills was 174 dollars and then we have 45 yeah 45 and gas groceries was 275 dollars spending is 70 no 80 dollars all right so let's move on to the next one okay kids I've been doing the same thing with kids that I've been doing with gas and the reason why I'm doing that with it because kids I want to pay for my son's haircut through kids and also if my kids need anything extra so they will be more in kids than usual so $25 I already have and then I believe I did end up making sure that I had the right amount for the, um, no, I didn't. Again, I did not do that. Again, I messed up, but that's okay. That is okay. Maybe if I can find some change, I'll be able to do that. So that's 20, 30, and $35. So 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. Yeah, 60. So that's 60 in kids that I have. All right. Buffer has 10 in it already. And now it has 15. All right. So Maddie here is going to go away. So now we have our sinking funds. We're gonna go to birthday. Birthday's gonna get five dollars. I have two of my nephews whose birthday's coming up in the next couple weeks. That's 20, 25, and 30 for birthday. Okay, car maintenance. Going all the way back to car maintenance. I'm going to stop contributing to car maintenance as soon as I get to another $100 in here and start concentrating on uh, beauty to um, get enough money to get my hair done. I have enough in there for my tax refund for my daughter. She's getting her hair done in a couple of weeks. So it's getting $15 for car maintenance. So that's 100, 200 in the bank, and then 20, 40, 50, and 55 I have right here. All right, so yeah, nothing else is getting uh, contributed to, so I'm gonna take the sink in front away and break out Lulu. Lulu is the last binder that's coming out that's getting anything. I'm going to investment. Investment's getting five dollars. And then right down here to my 52 week challenge, that's getting a nine dollars for the ninth week of this year all right let me make sure i line this all up correctly all right so that's 20 30 35 40 41 42 43 44 and 45 so 45 dollars in the 52 week challenge so i'm gonna take this maybe move it over here because i do I want to go ahead and do a couple of savings challenges. Um, let me get my book here from Daddies and Budgets right here. This is it. And 
let's go to the front and pull out my savings rollover money. So I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So I have $26 there that I'm going to put in. I already know where I'm going to put everything, where I'm going to do with everything. So let's go to make it rain and whoopsie doozy i did not bring out my coloring pen oh my pencils are over here hold on all right so make it rain which is this right here let me move you over here for a little bit so make it rain we're going to we have 26 dollars in here I'm putting $16 onto the Make It Rain challenge. And, ooh, I've got a lot to work with here. And I don't know what combinations do I want to do. I just want to do three or four or three. I, ooh, there's so many options that I can do here. Hmm. I haven't colored in, I've been trying to fill in the bigger amounts, so why not I continue to do that. The biggest amount here is nine, so we're going to go ahead and color nine. And then we're going to color the 7, which makes it 16, because 9 and 7 is 16. Yeah, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So that is correct. So we're going to color the 17, 7 here. So there we go. And we're going to shut this over for a little bit and bring out Lulu and go ahead and put in 16 sorry so it's 10 15 and 16 dollars let's do this right here and go for 50 70 80 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. So I already have 100. There's $50 more that I need to put in to complete this challenge. And I had already said before that I was going to put it towards my debt avalanche. And I am, but I'm also going to maybe put it into something else too. Because it is 150. I don't know what the other thing that I'm going to put it in, but I am going to do that. So that's what I'm going to do. So the next one right here, I'm going to end up having to use my pencil here, um, will be 10, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, $10. So healthcare is getting... Healthcare challenge that is, it's getting ten dollars. Should I do two fives or one ten? I'm going to do two fives, and this is the one that I'm going to go ahead and color in. So now, oops, go ahead and get to. Oops, right here, healthcare. And healthcare, I think, already has 30 in here. So with another 10, that'll be 40. Yeah. 24, 20, 25, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 40. So $40 in the healthcare challenge. I'm going to have to come up with another way to deal with the other 
envelopes that I have for my challenge because I don't like the fact that I cut them all out. I did it because I wanted to put them all in Lulu, but I, I'm thinking I don't really need to do that. I can keep them separate from uh, Lulu. I could just I could just build a, a different uh, binder for my savings challenge. Anyway, that's for the next time or for my next challenge, I guess. But anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for um, hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, again, I do have a link in my description for uh, Upside. Upside is a great app that you can use to get cash back on your groceries and more specifically your gas purchases. It's a really great app for your gas purchases. So if you go to the gas station, purchase something, and it'll give you cash back on there. Until next time, I'll see you. Oh my God, I'm missing my thought process here. Until next time, bye for now.